Hi guys, I'm Nagazep-chan and I'm going to play Shin Megami Tensei the Strange Journey I've never played any kind of Shin Megami Tensei games and I heard this one is kind of not recommended for uh, someone who did not play any game because it's kind of hard but well, I love challenges so we'll see Oh Okay, whatever. The outset of the 21st century. Oh, the Earth! Earth is a planet teeming with life. Of course! Oh, it's a city. Mankind, 7 billion strong, continue to prosper. However, this prosperity had a price to a species unable to halt the environment's destruction. Ah, this is bad. The land of ruin. Okay. W would inevitably appear. Oh, this does not look good at all. The earth is big black. Even so, Mankind, desperate for salvation, clung to hope. A brave few begin their mission. This is very interesting. To the enigmatic, to the enigmatic land of ruin. Little realizing this harsh journey will decide man's fate. Ah, the title, strange journey. Oh, so we are playing now, okay. A group of people are assembled in a giant conference room. They are talking amongst themselves while staring at a large monitor. Okay. Is this Arctida? Antarctida? I don't know the... You know, the brands now. Uh, Arctida, Arctida, whatever. Everything you hear in this session of the Schwarzwald Joint Project should remain as always secret. Someone's wise. The civilian populace is still unaware. Our information control program is going smoothly. What are you talking about? Oh, we're just in time for the broadcast. The news should be reporting exactly what we want. International situation, breaking news. One monitor is showing a news update. Okay, Newcastle. A new weapon seems to have been used in the increasingly prolonged Eastern Europe hostilities. Eastern? I'm Middle Europe. I'm living in the Middle Europe. I don't like it. It's too close. Despite our choice of viewing, the topic of discussion today is not our is not our control of the news. Oh wow, we are here to discuss the newly received data. This, oh, another wise. This, this is what it looks like inside a thing. But that's ridiculous. How could there be a battlefield there? What they are talking about? Um, uh, news. That's a bad thing. People are really going crazy. The news continues to drone on in the background. A string of lootings is plaguing many areas of Central and South America suffering from shortages. Wow, even America is fucked. That's bad. But look, this can possibly be an accurate depiction of the interior. Of what? This is a shopping mall, for God's sake. Someone must have gotten the signals crossed. Oh, that's bad. Police have sent the name a suspect in a recent sex murder in Tokyo. Oh, I don't like it where it is. What the hell is that? 
That gay looks ominous. The un unmanned probes we send down seem to be doing the job. Though no vehicle has gotten in intact. What is this? Some sort of red light district? Wrong data or no? I found this a very poor taste. Uh, what is it? What? What if that thing is truly real? Uh, um, this kind of doesn't look like a red light district. More like gate to hell, you know. Oh my god, I don't like this. Devastating pollution throughout Central Asia is sparking of riots and protest. Well, I'm not surprised. They are doing a lot of bad pollution in Asia, China. Speaking of devastating, they are predict predicting unchecked growth until it swallows the entire world. What swallows? Waste material, sludge, nonsense. We still don't know what the land in the sand pole looks like. Ah, oh, the sand pole. Okay. Now, for more of the giant ferromagnetic blizzard occurring close to the sand pole. Ferromagnetic? Wow, that's something very ominous sounding. I don't like it. All nations with nearby bases have been reviewing their options in light of its tremendous force. I think my country has a um, base on South Pole too. Or North? Uh, probably North? Or oh, whatever. You know? It's cute, kinda. A joint decision was reached and carried out today to temporarily withdraw from the bases. That's bad. That's very bad. Yes, withdraw. We can't very well say the bases are simply gone now, can we? They don't want to. What is this organization? Is it like they're doing stuff in all the world? You know? Like, yeah, you have president here and queen there, but we actually are the one who is doing all the stuff behind. I don't know these guys. If word of that got out, there'd be a panic. And if they knew it was growing, I shuddered the thing. So something bad is happening to Earth. Something which is going to destroy it? I don't know. This is hilarious. And probably Earth is going to end up pitch black because some whatever fucking thing is destroying it? Horrifying to think of them going in there, isn't it? Who are going to go there? They may be equipped with next generation technology and weapons, but still, be that as it may, our decision cannot be overturned. We have no other way but to send humans in to investigate. Oh, nice, because your drones fuck it up, huh? This is not a good idea. Our only choice is to go into the Schwarzwald. <clears throat> what is it, Schwarzwald? Never heard of it. Okay. Another video? Wow. Well, like, this is a pretty old game and it looks pretty good, I echo. I, I mean, yeah, it looks good. So I guess we are in Sound Paul now, and this is the people which are going to invade that place, whatever the place it is. Interesting. Mm, that's what I love about Japanese games. They are heavy, very heavy story based. Sometimes too much story based because like something which could be I don't know for playing I don't know 10 hours is stretched to like a huge ridiculous amount of hours <laughs> but I love Japanese games they're interesting okay so this is those things tanks or whatever it is and they are going to that place oh that place that looks ominous oh jeez is, was that a weird aurora? Oh. Is it... 
Wait. That organization which is sending these people, is it something like um, NATO? 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 How is it? And, you know, the... Ah, uh, in our world, you know, the organization which a lot of countries are in and are, they are trying to, like, spread peace and not wars and work together and blah, blah, blah. NATO? <laughs> or something like that? I'm probably talking shit. Okay, it's almost time to go into the Schwarzwald, isn't it? Men and women of the investigation team. You're fucked. But do your job, please. <laughs> we at the Schwarzwald Joint Project will be praying for you on behalf of all of humanity. Why is this sounding like they are sacrificing them? It's in your hands now, Commander Gore. Be safe and make sure you complete your mission. Oh, hi. Of course, we'll take care of it. Then I look forward to go to good news from you upon your arrival. Excuse me. Well, all right, crew. Your attention, please. We will arrive at our destination, the Schwarzwald, in 30 minutes. Our mission as the Schwarzwald investigation team is about to get underway. I realize you were selected on short notice and came from all over the globe to be part of this. Yes, yeah, so it is like NATO. It's like the whole, all the countries are trying to participate and help whatever this fucking dangerous thing is. But it's only going to be harder from here on out, so get used to it. Fortunately, you are all the allied of your respective nation services. You can handle this. Well, it's something like a dreamy because I guess all the nations get united because of this threat. Uh, if just this happened in real life, that would be good. If we all lend each other our support and work as a team, this mission will go smoothly. Why why do I have a feeling that this mission won't go smoothly? Probably all of you are going to die. Fuck. Enough pep talk. Though, it's time for our last formal briefing before entry. Okay, sir. First, to tell us about the land we are about to enter, the Schwarzwald. I'd like to introduce you to you all first mutant Zelenin. <laughs> oh, I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but in my language, Zelenina means vegetables. <laughs> and it's Zelenina. It sounds like vegetable to me. <laughs> Mister. Oh, it's she. Oh my god. Hello, Miss Vegetable. Hello, everyone. If I may have your attention, please. I'm first duty in Zelenin. For those of you I haven't already met, the pleasure is mine. I will now explain what observed data we have on the Schwarzwald's inner structure. Oh my god. Oh my god, so many informations! I'm not able to... Oh my god, how am I supposed to remember them? The Schwarzwald is a natural phenomenon that arose in the sun pole some months ago. Are you sure it's natural? But this phenomenon is one of a kind. We have nothing of its like to compare it to. Which kind of sounds that it's not natural. It looks like a black hole, wow. Yeah, it definitely looks like black hole. Or wormhole, or whatever the fuck it is. You may have heard false reports that it's a giant blizzard. But in truth, it is an unknown special spatial anomaly. It destroys and absorbs its surroundings as it enlarges. Yeah, it sounds like Black Hole Lady. When it first appeared, it was a cylinder only one meter in diameter that stretched to the sky. Since then, it has spread gradually, gradually spallowing surroundings. 
surrounding observation bases and any investigators fall. That, uh, yeah, it sounds like a black hair lady. I don't like it. We are going in there. Are you? What the hell do people are thinking? Oh, it's some kind of dimension wormhole. Today, it occupies a sizable footprint with a radius of several hundred kilometers. As we speak, the Schwarzwald continues to expand. Unless, until it spreads all over the world. Fuck us. So that's why we're going to prevent this, I hope. If we cannot engineer a reversal of, this pro of the process, then it will inevitably. Oh my god, the English! Then it will inevitably swallow the earth. Yeah. Easy peasy. Okay. Oh my god, so many things at once. Wow, this introduction is pretty long. Japanese games, they want to like everything you need to know then it before you go to play and you will be confused as a bug. According to data retrieved from the unmanned probes dispatched prior to this investigation, there is a several thousand meter wall surrounding the Schwarzwald outer rim. What? This barrier is a plasma cloud as that dismantles all approaching objects at a molecular level. Ouch, well, yeah, it hurts. Dismantles, that sounds ouchy. Plasma cloud. Oh my god, what the hell is that? You may be surprised to learn that the interior contains parallel universes or other dimensions. Yeah, I guess it's kind of wormhole or dimensional wormhole, black hole or whatever, because it looks like. Unfolding within the anomaly is a bizarre landscape we had a hard time getting readings on. Oh my god. This is due to some sort of property the interior has that repels foreign bodies. Oh yeah, because it's probably that dimension or whatever it is, it's so strange or you know different than our dimension that it just don't like to go together you know because um, it's like other universes we have our universe but what if there is another universe and yeah there is a life in it but the life is based on totally different you know our life is a um, oh my god how's it called in English uh, C. C. Oh my god, I don't know how it's called in English. You know, but, you know, the thing that our life is based on. Uh, I don't remember the English name for it. Shit. But what if in another universe the life is based of, I don't know, titanium or some acidic things, you know, it could be pretty different. So that's probably why it doesn't like this kind of earth things, because it's different dimension universe with different rules. It could be absolutely different physical, physics world rules, you know, that's... Ah, I like it, because I love this kind of universe, another dimensions warm holes, black holes, thingies. I'm personally very interested in it, so I like the idea. Whatever this property is, it's destroyed each and every unmanned probe we sent in. Oh well, and now we are going in. Well, how are we going to s kind of, you know, live through? And that's what we know in a nutshell. Oh well, that was a really huge nutshell. I mean, it's almost half an hour and we are still not starting the game. I love Japanese games. It paints a bleak picture for our mission, no matter how one interprets it. But as many of you know, no, we have effective ways of dealing with each of those obstacles. The joint project assembled its team and equipment based on the data we collected so far. Okay, 
I'm certain that if we all work as one, we can carry out our duties safely and efficient, effic efficient, effici efficiently. This concludes my report. Thank you for that clear and concise explanation, Newton Zelenin. Now, Arthur will confirm our mission will be the one managing the assignments of and duty roster. Ah, it's an AI. Hello, Schwarzwald Investigation Team. I'm the command unit Arthur. I will support you by coordinating our systems with those of the other ships to devise a strategy. As you can see, Arthur is an administrative administrative program with a pseudo personality. Is it good? How could you know that AIs are not going to be, you know, fucked with the whatever the thing is outside? It may feel strange to take orders from him at first, but you'll quickly get used to it. Please continue, Arthur. This team's mission is to conduct a detailed investigation of the Schwarzwald inner structure. The Schwarzwald Joint Project is currently reviewing plans to destroy the anomaly. However, due to a lack of data, no sound plan for its indefinitive elimination has been submitted. Oh well, that's bad. If your investigation sheds new light on the Schwarzwald, the Joint Project should have little difficulty devising and executing a plan to destroy it. So we need to search and investigate a place to actually know how to destroy it. Oh wow, that's great. Newton Zelenian briefing may have caused some pessimism. Oh yeah. <laughs> to investigate the Schwarzwald interior may seem an impossible feat at first. But with the amphibious assault ship we are all currently aboard, our mission becomes feasible. Amphibious? Oh, it's like uh, water and uh, um, water and land kind of ships or something like that. Oh yeah, it looks like water and land. It looks like a ship which can be in water, but it has like tires. So this next generation amphibious assault ship uses a plasma engine to penetrate the protective wall. Oh, so we're going with plasma to plasma. Yeah, destroy the fire with a fire. <clears throat> it can also go airborne for brief intervals. Airborne? So it's more like land air or... I don't understand. Oh. This we can fly over the plasma cloud to safely begin, in begin investigating the interior. Oh, so, ah, that's how they are going to go through, that's clever, very clever, I like that, I like it. The investigation team is composed of four next generation amphibious assault ships. Our ship, which is in command of the overall mission, is Ship 1, the Red Sprite. <laughs> oh, code, code names, oh my god. Ship 3, the Elf houses many scientists who will be pivotal in our research. Ship 2 and 4, the blue jet and gi gigantic, will serve as combat support should emergency will serve as combat support should emergencies arise. I will be about ship 3 to L. A detailed survey on the, of the anomaly previously impossible with the unmanned probes. This is our duty. I look forward to all of your support. Oh. As mentioned in Newton, Zelenin and Arthur's reports, we carry with us some very serious gear. Oh. With all the ships working in tandem, investigating that place is far from impossible. Our mission may be the challenge. Our mission may be to challenge the unknown. Oh my god, so many talking it gives me a hard time because English. You know, when English is not your native language, and it's kind of hard for you to speak, to read so fast when there is a lot of very hard words, for me at least. A lot of words I've never seen anywhere, <laughs> like seriously. Ah, they are going with technical mumbo-jumbo, aren't they? 
but we can make of it a unique experience of saving mankind and go home proud of what we've done. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see here. We have a few visiting team members handpicked by the UN for this investigation. UN? United Nations! Isn't it? So, oh, United Nations, they, is it like they made United Nations to, to go like with this problem to, oh my god, if it, if it is like this, it's awesome United Nations, isn't it? I see some of you haven't finished your introductions. Commander Gore is looking at you, at me? Oh, finally, finally, I'm going to play. Yes. It's half an hour and finally I'm going to play. Great. Welcome. Another American, huh? Oh, why I'm American? I want to be, I don't know, for example, a Brazilian. Why don't you get up in front of the group and introduce yourself? Please choose the name you will be called by food this game. Okay. Well, if I'm an American, I'm going with very, 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 <laughs> you know, Americanish name or English name. And I actually like this name. You are probably going to laugh at me, but yeah, yeah, I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> the most Yeah That's me John Smith Yeah My name is John Smith Yeah Thank you Grumman Smith You will serve on this ship The Red Sprite under my command You've been assigned to be part of the strike team. A strike team? Strike team members have military experience just like yours. You'll be the ones going out in the field. Oh. I'll expect you and your teammates to act according to the code of conduct. Okay. Commander Gore held out his right hand. What will you do? Shake his hand. <laughs> Refuse to shake. Hey, I'm not going Rebellious Road, Rude, okay? I'm a nice person. I've heard a lot about your service record. I expect much from you. Commander Gore took Smith's right hand firmly and shook it. So, if I can like refuse shooking his hand, what does it mean? Like, I know in Japanese games your decisions kind of mean a lot strike team members your briefing isn't quite through yet oh my god so many talking meet me at the deck those assigned to other duties take your places aboard your respective ships okay so this one is a main ship oh and there are other ships oh my god how an arrow and <laughs> wow wow so um, the earth is in danger, some weird thing in a south ball, which looks like a dimension portal, is, go is very dangerous and it's probably going to spread all over the world and probably fight the humanity, so that's United Nations get together and, well, nations get together and met made United Nations something kind of thing, I guess, and sent the soldiers and people there to somehow get rid of this problem, I guess. But what awaits us there? That's a question. So, wow, it was long and very nice introduction. I like it, we knew so many things, my head is probably going to split apart I really hope I will be able to like remember all the stuff and not forgetting it 
But I guess this is a good opportunity to end it here right now because it stops. So yeah, I, so far I like it. It's interesting, but well, I'm still in a prologue. I even didn't have a time to actually play it. <laughs> and I'm choosing my name, which is John Smith. So typical. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. And who know what would be what would be going next? But I'm very interested. I like this kind of games. They're amazing. So yeah, this is all for now. And who knows what would happen next time? Goodbye and see you next time.